Well, a battle is brewing in Brevard County. It's birds versus trees. The county wants to cut down oaks and pines in a sanctuary. They say it will help threaten birds, but a lot of people are fighting back. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi joins us live with a closer look at the controversy. Good evening, Dave. Good evening, Ruan, and this is where the scrub jay calls home. It's a sanctuary that's meant to protect the Florida bird. But as you can see, it's also become popular for hikers and bikers alike due to the shaded trails. But it's those trees causing the shade that's an issue. It is the original Floridian. The scrub jay is a beautiful blue and gray colored bird that exclusively calls Florida home. Although they aren't exactly easy to spot in the Malabar scrub sanctuary because they're coming closer and closer to extinction. Could you lose scrub jays from, from that unit altogether? And, you know, that would... That would just be tragic if we think about this is the fundamental Floridian bird. Scrub jays thrive off the scrub found on the ground. Although bird experts say the Malabar sanctuary has too many trees that have led to overgrowth and have introduced more predators into the environment. The Audubon Society says the restoration proposal includes cutting down 10 to 20 trees as well as a controlled burn to restore the scrub jay habitat. Sounds a little counterintuitive that we are cutting down trees in order to save birds, but scrub jays forage on the on the ground and they are picked off by hawks who perch in these high trees and swoop down and obviously uh, eat the birds. The Malabar town manager tells us that some are concerned the county wants to cut down too many trees. The town originally gave the county a permit to cut down trees, but that permit has expired. So now the county needs to reapply, but the town wants to charge the county $40 for every tree removed. I honestly hope it doesn't come to that, but the reality of the situation, you know, it's not about me. It's not about the town of Malabar. Uh, or the eight or 10 bikers that will lose the shade. Uh, this is about some uh, endangered species that uh, we need to do everything we can to protect it. Now this week, the county voted unanimously to fence up the sanctuary if a deal cannot be struck by January 25th. Now the Malabar says that they will be meeting before that date in order to try to discuss what to do moving forward. In Malabar, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News.